Hey guys, I'm Dylan Brooks and we're, we're out here in the Virginia Tech greenhouses again. Today we're going to be get, going over uh, different kinds of cuttings. We're going to do stem cuttings on a coleus, leaf cuttings on a snake plant, and division by spider plant. The first thing when you do, do any kind of cutting is to research ahead of time what is the easiest way to propagate the plant. For this coleus here, generally the easiest way is by a stem cutting. And then in any plant, when you go to take cuttings, you should go ahead and inspect it to make sure it's disease and pest free. Otherwise, you're gonna continue the cycle and anything you propagate is still gonna be plagued with diseases. So going into taking a cutting, you wanna take your cutting about a quarter inch to a half an inch below the first node. The biggest issue that kills plants is gonna be water loss here. So it's important to reduce some of your, your surface area in your plants first. This is gonna let it lose less water and be able to stay alive long enough to root. And after that, it's crucial to use a kind of rooting hormone for your plant. In this, we're using Indolic 3 butanic acid. It's a relatively low strength, but again, research ahead of time so you know what sort of strength or what type of hormone to use. Read carefully any instructions so you know how to best use it. With your rooting hormone, you never want to dip it out of the container. Always pour it into a second tray or a small cup so that you don't contaminate the whole container. But for this, all it is is you dip it in water to wet it, dip it in a little of the hormone. You should have a, a moist media prepared and some six packs. And all it is to it is stick it about half an inch deep, mist it, and put it under a tray or cover if you have it to, to help reduce any water loss that's there. Next we're going to be taking cuttings off of our, our snake plant here. For this we're going to be doing a, doing a leaf cutting. So just go and cut, cut at the very bottom of your leaf. And the one important thing to, to note when you are taking these cuttings is I always like to cut, cut a notch in the bottom, like an arrow pointing downward, because otherwise it's difficult to know which side is up. And when, um, if you leave it, leave it sitting for any period of time at all, I easily forget. And if it's not put the same way that it was cut, it's never going to grow and, and truly, truly prop, grow roots. So making those, those incisions are key just to know, know which way is down. And after that, I like to take, take them, and we're gonna use the same hormone again, of relatively low strength, dip it in water in the hormone, and then we're just gonna make a, a little preformed hole for it, stick our cuttings in, and be sure to, to gently pack around it. And afterwards, we mist, put it under a cover, and then we're ready to go. And next we're going to be doing a, doing a spider plant, which is propagation by runners. This is one of the, one of the easiest and most self-explanatory cuttings to make. But on, the, on a spider plant like this, it has pre runners with preformed roots on it. So we'll go ahead and cut, cut one of those off. And you can see on the bottom, it already has, has preformed roots. It's ready to go. So this, I would just take just a little bit of hormone on the end of it. Dig a, give it a little, little hole, cover it back up. And this is one of, it's going to be one of your quickest things to root, simply because it already already has the preformed roots on it. But then after that, just missed it, and you're ready to go.